Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. Today we are looking at Moods. This is a 2000 game from Hasbro, aimed at adults, 3 to 8 players. Let's take a look at what this entails. This is a game of determining your moods, or some nonsense. I've played this a few times and I remember it being okay. It's a good normal party game for normies. So if you're going to be playing a game with a lot of normies, this might be worth your time. So let's take a look at what we've got in the box. Now the box is pretty standard issue stuff for the time. Uh, the instruction sheet is just one sheet, black and white. And inside we've got the game board, 120 phrase cards, a deck of 60 mood cards, 32 voting chips, the sticker sheet, which is already applied because this is an old game, eight colored moonstones, one ten-sided die, one dice cup, and the instructions. So let's take a look at our board. This is a fourfold. So as always, you want to check the seams, make sure it's in good shape. This one is held up very, very well. And it's actually pretty well coated. And it is pretty thick cardstock. So pretty solid piece of game board all around. Hasbro generally does a pretty decent job. But as you can see, you've got an outer track, and then these numbered, it looks almost like a football pitch. But, yeah, pretty decent board. It's got a little bit of tactile on the back, so it shouldn't slip. Pretty decent board. I'm really impressed with that. All right, let's take a look at our pieces. So, the first thing you'll notice is that we've got these glass moving pieces. These are mood stones. We've got white, black, blue, pink, red, this sort of darker burgundy type red, yellow and green. And we've also got this mover piece, card goes on there. So these are actually very important to the game. If they're missing, they're going to be difficult to replace because they are this sort of like half circle glass. But they are pretty nice but they would be kind of difficult to replace if you lose them. The solid white one I think would probably be a little harder. You could probably buy these online. I'm not sure. I've never actually looked for half circle glass pieces before, but they look like something you could probably get in a fish department somewhere for your aquarium or some Magic the Gathering set. But pretty nice little pieces. Got a decent weight to them. After that, we've got... Voting chips, these appear to all be the same. They're numbered one through four, and then a blank one. And this one is blank on both sides. These are just stickers, so be aware of that. The stickers might come off if the set is old enough or was stored in a place where it would be the wrong temperature for that to adhere properly. So if you have some that are extras and you're missing a number, you might just want to take a marker and write it on there. Otherwise, you've got colored sets for each one. I'm actually missing a few of them. I'm missing a, a green one and a black one. But they're all the same otherwise. Pretty straightforward stuff. So that is the, the main pieces. There's also a D10 in here, which is just a standard 10-sided dice. And this is actually a really nice quality D10, and it rolls pretty good because I was playing with it before uh, I hit record again. And yeah, it's a pretty solid little D10, just like you would find in any polyhedral set or D&D set. So just be aware of that. And then you've got this little cup, which you put stuff in, obviously. It's like a standard rolling cup for your dice. Pretty standard stuff. The, this cup is actually fairly thick, but I can see it getting damaged very easily. The outside does have a little bit of a coating. The inside does not. So if you spill liquid inside, it's definitely going to soil it and probably screw it up. But there is a nice plastic piece for the bottom that is really nice. So let's take a look at our cards. Okay, this is our moods deck. There are 60 cards in this deck, each one representing a mood. Like I said, there's 60 of them. I don't think they're numbered. So let's just take a look at what we've got here. Let's 
they are a little off center so be aware of that That's not a word you hear very often, zany. And finally, dazed. Okay, so some of these might be actually a little bit challenging to do, but the card quality is very nice on these. The back coating isn't too heavy, otherwise it would feel very, very cheap, but it's mild enough that it doesn't make that big of a deal. But the card quality is good card stock, decent thickness. I'm actually kind of impressed with that. So let's get those out of the way, and we'll take a look at our phrase cards. Now these came in a little half box. There are 120 of these. And this is what the back looks like. Again, these are not numbered, which is kind of annoying. Because I really like it when things are numbered. They're also not all facing the same direction, so this might take a minute. I could get creepy. <laughs> Some of these out of context are very, very naughty.
And lastly, so like I said, there's 120 of these cards. They're not as nice quality as the other ones. They're a lot thinner, and they'll probably get torn up if they're shuffled too much, especially if you shuffle them in one big stack. So I'm a little disappointed with these, but overall, it doesn't really affect my general impression of the game. Okay, so that's moods. Like I said, it's for three to eight players. So if you're missing a few pieces from one color, it's not a huge deal. You just play with fewer people. This is definitely the type of party game you'll want to have more than three people for. You probably want to have four, maybe six, to really get this one going. That will really add to it a lot more, I think. But as a party game goes, it is pretty simple and straightforward, so any normie can pick it up and play. And it does use a D10, so if you're a hardcore gamer, at least you get a roll D10 while you're playing with the norms. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun looking game. I remember liking it the few times I played it. So it's definitely got to have a party atmosphere to it, though, you know, laid back with some friends. And it might be fun with people you don't know, too, so if there's new people at a gathering, this might be a good one to kind of get to know people a little bit better. It's a good beer and pretzels kind of game. But well, we've seen what's inside, you've heard my spiel, that's going to do it for me. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you want to help the channel in other ways, links are in the description and on the about page. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.